Rocco here. We're doing Battlefield 1, I mean, sorry, Call of Duty World War 2 reveal trailer. Let's have a look. Couldn't they have just done Vietnam? In game. This day have set upon a mighty endeavor. Souls will be shaken with the violences of war in this hour of great sacrifice. We shall prevail. We are all that separates the world from darkness. The enemy is ruthless. We cannot. We must not fail. It's Duty definitely first. gonna band of brothers feel. We executed the mission. Get me the fuck out of here. How many? We had orders! Get the cover! Lieutenant, tell them what we're all about. No mission too difficult. No sacrifice too great. Welcome to the bloody first. You're a long way from Texas for him, boy. <laughs> November 3rd, guys. Well, there you go. Play the private beta first on PS4. Nah, I'll be sweet. I got Battlefield 1. Anyway, yeah, so that was it. That was Call of Duty World War II reveal trailer. So that was, yeah, just really a Battlefield clone, wasn't it? Not really too exciting there. Should have done Vietnam, man. They should have just waited a little bit longer, worked a little bit longer, and done the Vietnam game. Ah, oh, well. I'll probably end up playing it. Might get it cheap, see how we go, but... So far, it's still Ripcod, Battlefield 1 winning. Alright, guys, let us know down below what you guys think of it. I suppose we get some hardcore hate from the COD fans, but... I don't know. I will say that Call of Duty does always have a really good story. Like, it's the story mode's really good playable. I mean, the last ones, who knows, because I haven't played them. But when they do a story mode, it's normally pretty immersive. So, I don't know. We'll have to wait. Time will tell. I've been hurt before. Cheers, guys. We'll see you in the next one.